I almost couldn't control it. Yeah. <laughs> Just so much power, I couldn't yeah. even, can't even control it. Hey, ET family, I'm about to show you a forehand transformation so big that even our students couldn't believe it. I'm Ian Westerman. I'm, I'm the head pro here at EssentialTennis.com, where it's our mission to bring passionate instruction to passionate players like you. The private VIP student that you're about to see is named Rob, and he recently came out to work with us from Detroit, Michigan. We showed him how to dramatically improve his forehand so that he can have the tools he needs to reach his goal of confidently moving up to the next level. At the end of this video, I'll also let you know how you can get our free forehand action plan so you can follow our coaching to improve the very next time you're on the court. For now, let's go right to the court. Have you seen yourself uh, on video before? Forehand, never. Yeah? Seriously. That once, first time? This is it, seriously. Awesome. Seriously. Do you, do you, have, a, you have no idea what to expect? This is scary. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. I'm gonna show you some uh, examples first of Brian. I, I, I wanna show you a couple of key positions for him on his forehand, and then we're gonna take a look at yours. So his whole body turns back at once to, to set up nice. uh, with the racket head starting up. He holds it until the last second and then turns to face the strings towards his target. But the two things I want you to focus on are the butt cap of the racket here mm -hmm. and his chest at contact. Okay. And from there he continues rotating. And so Remember uh, his setup position before he started swinging forwards, his chest was facing towards the camera, mm -hmm. and now his chest is facing exactly away from the camera. And contact has his chest in the middle. Mm -hmm. Makes sense, right? Yeah. So the, the fullest part of his take back is his starting position. Contact is halfway between mm -hmm. how his, his chest is rotating forwards. Mm -hmm. And then it continues turning from there, and contact is in the middle. And so contact is in the is right in the center of that big full turn with his with his upper body okay so this is how it's possible to generate a lot of uh we we're talking about hitting a penetrating shot that moves through the court this is how it's possible to hit with a lot of top spin uh, which is created by dropping the racket low and coming vertical mm -hmm. while also creating a lot of drive or pace or penetration through the court that's Pri primarily the job of the, the core rotating forwards. Okay. Another example, okay. same take back. Notice the chest facing towards the camera. Mm -hmm. the, butt the butt cap pointing forwards as his chest starts pulling the racket forwards. It's contact, chest facing forwards. He's totally parallel to the baseline here. And then his chest continues to turn until it faces away from the camera. Uh -huh. So these are the visual things that I'm looking for mm -hmm. from you. And so now let's, let's okay. check yours out. So you start off really similar to Brian. You do a nice job setting up the racket, taking your, your body, turning it back. Your chest is facing towards the camera. That's great. And as the, the ball enters the, the frame, your butt cap is facing forwards towards the ball. That's great. Now tell me what you see at contact. Chest is facing to the side. Yep. Okay. The chest is yeah. still facing towards the camera. If you mm -hmm. look at uh, your most turned position right here, totally sideways, and contact, there's not a big difference in where your body is facing. Mm -hmm. there, there is a difference, but Brian had a full 90 degree difference between his uh, starting position and contact. You're relying on on your arm here. Mm -hmm. Your body's not moving much, your weight is not shifting a lot, and so this is mostly arm hitting yeah. the ball. Yeah. Uh, and this, in a nutshell, is the number one thing that we're gonna improve about your forehand. Okay, uh, nice. We're gonna start yeah. using your, your, your body much, much more effectively. Mm -hmm. And so by the time you get to parallel to the baseline, you're essentially done with your, with your swing. Mm -hmm. And that's just Brian's starting point with his turn. He's, he's done with about half of his turn at contact. Mm -hmm. uh, by the time you get to that same shoulder position, you're already, you're already followed through. Oh, yeah. 
so there's a huge discrepancy there in how you're using the biggest, strongest part of your body, your core. So here's contact. See the baseline? See mm -hmm. the shoulders? Oh, yeah, he's full. And here's contact. So this is about, about the best example we have for you mm -hmm. relative to, to Brian. So probably almost 45 degree difference oh, definitely. Yeah. Uh, yeah. between the two of you. Mm -hmm. And that's just direct, it will directly translate into easy, effortless power. When you look like at the, the basic setup, like the two of you guys are really, really similar. Mm -hmm. Hands staying on the racket, racket head starting up, racket dropping with the butt cap facing forwards. Great. But then where, where you guys start to differ is that forward swing. Over on the left here, mm -hmm. when you watch the movement, what's mostly moving is your arm. arm. It's all arm action. And then over on the right, when you uh, watch Brian, watch Brian's chest. How the whole, his entire upper body is what's leading that racket up to the ball. Mm -hmm. And looking over on the left at you, mm -hmm. it's mostly arm from your dropped position to contact. Mm -hmm. See visually what I'm talking about? Yep, yep. Yeah, so his chest rotates. And it... Yep. You guys even finish, you guys even finish in similar positions. The timing of how you're using your body is very different. He's timing his body rotation significantly earlier. Now that we've broken down exactly what improvements need to be made, we'll be focusing exclusively on getting Rob to use his body as efficiently as possible. Make sure that you stick around to the end of this video to find out how you can get your very own step-by-step -step forehand action plan. Let's dive right into Rob's progressions. Okay, so I'd love to see some really slow, like five, 10% speed uh, shadow swings, Rob. Um, just go ahead and move, th move through one or two by yourself first. And I'd like you to go like e even slower than that, like maybe half that speed. <clears throat> slow enough that you can really be uh, mindful of all the different moves that you're making with your body. We're gonna take away all the automatic stuff right now so you can feel the change we're about to make. Just do how I normally, yep. I normally do. Yep, yep, for, for just to get used to the speed. Yep, nice job. You're currently on one end of the spectrum. You're, you're quite uh, late with your body and you're using mostly your arm. Mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna actually bring you to the other end of the spectrum and exaggerate a little bit in, in the other uh, direction. I want you to take your racket back the way you normally do, drop your racket the way you normally do. But then from there, I want you to hold that drop position until your chest is facing forwards fully. And then you can let your hand and your arm come forward to contact, right? Yep. And again, just to be clear, this is an exaggeration. This isn't the way I would actually want you to do it, but I want you to feel the sensation of leading with your chest and pulling the racket forwards first with your core, as opposed to pulling, doing all the pulling with your arm and leaving your chest sideways. The drop. Uh huh. Pulling forwards with your body. And then your arm and hand is coming forwards. So you're kind of segmenting everything right now, which is totally fine. Mm -hmm. Obviously, that's not what we'd want to do in real life. But you're just kind of hitting all those little benchmarks, feeling one at a time. And you're leading right now with your chest instead of staying sideways and using your, your arm and your hand to hit the ball, the you know, imaginary ball. The body is pulling. I yeah, yeah. I, I, like, yeah. I like the word pull a lot. Yeah. That's exactly yeah. what we're like eventually going to want to feel yeah. is like a li actually a literal uh, stretch in your, mm -hmm. your left shoulder as you lead with, the, with your core. Mm -hmm. uh, and then that stretch can then be unwound and released into the point of contact. Whereas currently, you're having to like shovel the ball forwards with your arm. Uh, maybe a little bit of exaggerated term, but... But relatively speaking, you see how this is loading energy and releasing it, whereas before you're, you're kind of pushing the ball a little yeah. bit. Yeah. The phrase that I like, that I personally like, is lead with the chest. Yeah. That's what should be initiating your forward swing towards the ball and should be leading the charge towards contact on every swing. Ooh. 
That was pretty. There's the one you just did. Nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Nice, nice. Yeah. It's just a lot more nice. aesthetically uh, pleasing. Nice. So it, we can, it looks more powerful mm -hmm. and strong because uh, everything is now being transferred forwards mm -hmm. before contact, not, not after contact. Initiated. What's the what's the point after yeah. contact? Yeah. Right, the, the ball's already gone. Yeah, that's that's really nice. Nice. And uh, just kind of contrast that. You see the difference? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so like you're way sideways. Yeah. Right. You're you you are you are a turning here, but the bulk of the rotation is after the ball is gone. So you're wait you're really you're wasting Wasted, all yeah. of that all of that rotation. Mm -hmm. It isn't actually going where we want it to go, which is into the ball. The starting point, the finishing point is the same, but we've totally, we're making contact in a totally different place relative to your, yeah. your body rotation now. Yeah. To you, it's gonna really almost feel like your racket for a split second is staying static as your chest starts to pull forwards. Does that make sense? Yeah. So I almost kind of feel like there's a separation at the shoulder here where your body is, is initiating and your racket's kind of being left behind for a second and then it catches up uh, after that rotation begins. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? It does. That's how it feels. All right, cool. Yeah. 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 I can tell this, the whole separation uh, <laughs> co concept is, uh, is clicking for you. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we call lag. Yeah. Your, your hand and your racket mm -hmm. head are lagging feels, behind, your, yeah. your, behind your core. And that's what generates. Yeah, it literally feels like a little bit of a lag. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's, that's exactly what yeah. it is. And so that little bit of tension then is stored up and you mm -hmm. can hold it until right before contact and then let it go uh, through contact, mm -hmm. which is exactly what uh, Brian was doing. Storing, storing, storing. Yeah. This one he's swung a little bit more aggressively. So mm -hmm. there's, you can tell there's more separation. There's more lag mm -hmm. happening here with his racket. And then releasing through. All right, want to try hitting a couple? Sure, sure. <laughs> I want you to focus on just one thing, mm -hmm. and that is getting your chest to parallel before you make contact. Okay. Just like a, we're looking for just a split second before. Yeah. So um, when we see the frame by frame playback, mm -hmm. we should see this reach parallel just before you make contact. Good, how do you think you did? Okay. <laughs> this is the best. I don't know. This is the best part. We get we're, to see for we're sure. We're about to find out. And oh, look at that. Yeah, you yeah, got yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, nice job. You got it. Yeah. Look at that. You actually exaggerated it a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> nice job. Oh, nice yeah. Job. <laughs> like Roger. <laughs> yeah. I mean, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> you, took, you took a big step in that direction, that's for mm. sure. Nice. All right, let's do a bunch more of those. Okay. Nice job. Same thing on the hit, chest first. Really good, Rob. Nice job. Good, let's see. That's really, that's really nice. Yeah. Yeah. Now, what's, what's really interesting to me, I love seeing like what other things just kind of fall into place. Mm -hmm. Look at your contact point here. Much rel more rel in front. Way more yeah. in front uh, mm -hmm. than, than where we started. Yeah. Uh, just for comparison. So, way back. Yeah. yeah like Contact right here. here right? Yeah. yeah. It's behind the front edge of your yeah. body. Yeah. Um, and just without actually uh, talking about contact point, <laughs> dude, you're like, you're like two feet in front of your, uh, your front toe now, maybe yeah. a foot and a half. No. And that's just simply because now you're nice. using your body, yeah. your body correctly. Mm -hmm. you're, you're leading with what matters, mm -hmm. which is the biggest, strongest part of your body. Nice, man. Yeah, nice. Good job. Making technical changes is all about doing something completely different than what you're used to. Yeah. So at the point where it feels weird or wrong is probably about right. Uh, so for the next, next couple of reps, I want you to focus on really making a, a lot of separation. 
<laughs> yeah, I dare you to overdo it. Dare you. Yeah. <laughs> that's good. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> And so when you lag, when you lag that much, like it's hard to help going yeah. fast because that's exactly what this leads to is yeah. like it wants to spring back towards yeah. the ball. I almost couldn't control it. Yeah. <laughs> Just so much power, I couldn't yeah. even, can't even control it. Check it out. That shadow is saying, I think you were bored, you were starting to. Wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little bit exaggerated there. That's too much. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're, you're never gonna see okay. uh, buck cap lagging to the point where it's sideways to the baseline. Okay. So you're, you're kind of like okay. okay, manually like kind of tilting Experiment. the Experiment. That's yeah. what I, I totally. I asked. Yeah. I asked you to do it. So yeah. it's good. Okay. Yeah. So that would be an example of a little bit on the side of, of overdoing it. Okay. Which for experience right now is is great. Yeah. But I want you to feel something different. Yeah. Uh, on the actual hit, you didn't get anywhere uh, near that. Remember how the buckhead was pointing down, mm -hmm. down the service line? Mm -hmm. This is actually what we'd like. This is like, actually pretty amazing uh, looking freeze frame. Look at that. Yeah. Like that's, nice that's pretty incredible. Nice. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So here you reached parallel. That's really nice. Nice, yeah. So when you exaggerate it is when we're seeing the best uh, just pure, like just form or technique mm -hmm. uh, examples. So keep exaggerating. Yeah. yeah. And eventually it won't feel like exaggeration anymore. Yeah. You have to get used to the new normal. Yeah. This, we would love for this to be your new normal mm -hmm. where this feels average. Nice. Right now it's like way on one end of the spectrum for you, mm -hmm. which is why we're keeping things very controlled and very slow so that you can just feel yeah. what and process yeah. this. I like it. That's, like that's it. awesome though. Yeah, good. Same thing from back here. Two shadow swings per hit. Lead with your chest. That was nice, good. Here's your, your last uh, shadow swing. Good. Yep. Okay. Okay, and then. This is one of your smoother hits. Yeah, it felt so it was really nice and calm. Mm -hmm. And you had good separation here as well. Here, here's parallel, still good amount of lag. Contact well out in front. That's good, man. Yeah, very nice, okay. Nice. Yeah, a lot. Good job. Big difference. Oh yeah, okay, huge. Okay, good, yeah. Nice job, Rob. And keep in mind, these are these are off drop, you know, mm -hmm. balls. Like there's no energy on the ball to begin with. Yeah. Once we start giving you a feed, like you'll, it'll take even less energy to hit that same shot back. Wow. How do you think he did? Um, close. <laughs> but, but not Plead the fifth. <laughs> Don't say anything incriminating. I'm not sure if I got fully turned. <laughs> okay, by the time you made contact. Yeah. Oh no. no. Uh oh. No. Now you're being snapped back into a more kind of real situation. Mm -hmm. And so you're all your tens of thousands of repetitions of doing it this way are coming right back to the front of your brain and going, oh, all right, it's time to hit a forehand. Mm -hmm. And you're running the forehand program in your brain. Mm -hmm. And so that's, this, that's why this yeah. happened. Yeah, yeah, no. And so now your job is to break, break yourself out of that mm -hmm. rut, that, that habit. I'm gonna focus on my one thing. Yeah, separate, exa focus on exaggeration again. Mm -hmm. Exaggerate the separation between your, your chest and your, your arm. Okay. I mean, you, really, you can't possibly do it too much. I dare you to do it too much. All right, better. This is the one you just hit. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah, there we okay, go. Okay, nice, yeah, that's yeah. good, that's good. Exaggerate, yeah. 
So you're, did I it feel exact, exaggerated to you? In my head, I thought like, yeah, like this, and then like, almost like a comical, like. So here's where you were, here's where you were in reality. Take back is great. Led with the butt cap. That's, that's, that's awesome. That's funny, comical. Yeah. Comical is just perfect right yeah. now. <laughs> yeah. You couldn't possibly overdo it right now. Okay. Because the program in your brain is so departed from this, mm -hmm. you know? Each and every time that you step out onto the court for the next like couple of weeks, mm -hmm. you're gonna have to remind yourself that your internal experience is um, different than reality just because of your habit. Mm -hmm. So it's what might feel like a big change in reality is probably not that big of a change. Mm -hmm. Nice job. That's what it, what it looks like. Good. Okay, uh, good, dude, good, that yeah. Was, that was yeah, a, yeah. Now I want you to watch this okay. in, in full motion. Okay. It's probably the most solid calm looking forehand you've ever hit in your mm -hmm. life probably yeah. it's really smooth relaxed not like, not like the floor like. <laughs> <laughs> there's no per, there's no perceivable effort yeah in this swing i like it it's really nice yeah. and smooth and great yeah. great position there yeah yeah you made perfect, yeah. perfect contact and everything that's yeah nice job nice let's okay. let's hit some more of those <laughs> That was nice. Yeah, that felt like nothing. Yeah. Here's a uh, full speed. <laughs> That's really. You That's look like idea. a really different player here compared to. Uh, mm -hmm. Picture in your mind that uh, kind of um, fluidity and the the tempo and the effort level. You see? You see the difference? So here, your your arm. Your arm, you can see the bend in your arm and mm -hmm. you're, you're having to kind of shovel your arm mm -hmm. uh, around because your body is not in a position to support uh, the swing. Your arm's having to do all the work here because mm -hmm. your body is behind, it's late. And so to hit significantly harder than that, it's all, mm -hmm. it's all on here. Like this, this is where the responsibility is. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and so there's not the same potential for smooth delivery of power. You see the difference? Yeah. So this is what it looks like when the body is doing its mm -hmm. job and the arm can just yeah, much more relaxed. be loose. Yeah. Yep. Rob's overall understanding and ability to execute a quality forehand has already dramatically improved, but it's important to remember that this is just the beginning of his forehand development. To help him really cement these changes into new habits, we sent him home with a detailed action plan for him to follow so that he can continue advancing. Now I'd like to invite you to take advantage of that same opportunity by downloading our special forehand action plan. Even though our coaches won't be standing right there next to you, like we were with Rob, we can give you the next best thing, a powerful, effective, step-by-step -step process to follow at home. Get instant access to our forehand action plan PDF by clicking the link in the description down below or by going to forehandactionplan.com. Simply let us know where to send it and you'll know exactly what to do the very next time you practice so that you can get forehand results like Rob did. Finally, do me a favor and after you get your action plan, come back to this video and leave a comment to let me know how your results are coming along. If this video is helpful to you, then please make sure to give it a like and also keep up with all of our upcoming lessons by subscribing to our channel. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.